This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. Hello, everyone. This is Sean Fox from Carolina's Medical Center over in Charlotte, North Carolina, coming to you today after a shift in our pediatric emergency department where one of my stellar second year EM residents and I were discussing um, some basic pediatric information, which I decided might be something that our friends and listeners at Emergency Medical Minute might also enjoy. What we were discussing is some of the general growth estimates that we can utilize when we're evaluating children, uh, particularly the neonate. Remember, the newly born child is going through a lot of changes, physical changes, physiologic changes, but also there is many times a new mom and dad also going through a lot of changes. If that child particularly is being breastfed, many times the combination of all that newness as well as the fact that the hind milk might not be coming in just yet, uh, many times leads to that first week of life having some weight loss. And that's okay, provided that we gain our birth weight back by the second week. Okay, well, that's great. What I also like to keep in mind is in the first three months of their life, they should gain 30 grams a day. That's an ounce of weight a day. So first three months of life, they should gain on average about 30 grams a day. Now, not everyone is precisely 30, but just as a raw estimate, I think it's super helpful to keep in mind. When do I particularly apply this? Let's say we have a child who presents with vomiting and everyone's going to have that uh, vomiting be described as projectile. Uh, I know that I described all of my children's vomit as projectile because it was uh, very forceful. <laughs> um, and that doesn't necessarily mean the child has pyloric stenosis. In fact, maybe I'm just overfeeding my kid and I'm putting you know, four ounces in a two ounce container and two of those ounces are going to come rocketing back out at me and it looks projectile and it looks vigorous and violent. That doesn't mean they have pyloric stenosis. Maybe it just means I'm overfeeding. So is there a way I can maybe um, discriminate between those two? Well, I think assessing the child's growth is really important. In fact, assessing, particularly in the first three months of their life, assessing their growth as part of your normal practice, I think is very helpful because the child is not going to be able to give you a lot of description about what's going on in their life other than that they're growing or not growing well. So using that as another metric of their health can be helpful to look for clues. And if I see that the kid's gaining more than 30 grams a day, maybe it's um, actually I'm overfeeding the child and if obviously they're gaining a lot less, maybe I'm feeding them appropriately, but they have an obstruction like pyloric stenosis and we need to do dramatically different management strategies. So that's something to keep in mind, 30 grams a day for the first three months of life. Now, what's also helpful to keep in mind is some other general growth assessments. When we get to six months of life, the child should really double their birth weight. And by the time they get to a year of life, 12 months, they should have tripled their birth weight. This is also able to be interpreted in another way. When you have a one-year-old presenting to you, they should be on average about 10 kilograms. And if you have a three-year-old on average, they should be about 15 kilograms. And obviously, if you have a two-year-old, you are somewhere in between. I like to use this as a quick assessment or a quick, a quick estimate, rather, if I have an inbound child coming by EMS for a potential medical issue and I want to start preparing a room, I don't have the child to actually weigh them yet. Maybe I forgot to ask EMS what their child's weight was. Maybe EMS didn't have uh, the ability to provide that information for me. I just know that they're a one-year-old. On average, I can say this kid should be about 10 kilograms. And I find that to be very helpful just as a, you know, a set point. And then obviously when the child gets there, I'll be able to make adjustments. But if I need to make quick decisions on medical uh, management and medication administration, a one-year-old should be about 10 kilos. And I can make some estimates for those kids that are two or three based on the fact that a 
three-year-old should be about 15 kilograms. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, these are just some basic things that bounce around in my brain when I'm assessing children. Think about assessing their growth as part of your initial strategy to discern um, whether there's any clues of the child being actually ill and pretending to be well. Additionally, they should gain 30 grams a day in that first three-month period. And remember, your one-year-old should be about 10 kilograms. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Feel free to follow us over at emguidewire.com or pdmmorsels.com. Additionally, I look forward to collaborating more with our friends over at the Emergency Medical Minute. You all take care now. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.